Hello friends, welcome back to Dark Souls. Now, in our last episode we killed the gargoyles in the Belfry Tower. And we also took care of a niggling little pest in Lotrek. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, in this episode we will be taking on at least... Wow. As I get used to Dark Souls controls again. Uh, we will at least be taking care of the Capra Demon. And I may even go as far as the Gaping Dragon. And we'll just clear up down here. There's not much point in doing so. Just, you know, getting rid of a little rust while I can. Parries and backstabs seem to be going okay for me. Hollow warrior armor. Well, we won't bother with that. Eh, fine. If you won't be parried, then you will be smooshed. Speaking of smoosh, rat smoosh! No humanity. Oh well. <coughs> You have to excuse me, I seem to have a bit of a cough today. And frankly, every day, so. I have a bottle of water handy. I'm sure I'll make use of it. We're back in the Undead Burg. No. No. Now we have a couple of methods of um, getting to Capra. I think I might try and show you the shortcut. Or the lower undead skip as it's also known. Take a quick heal. Right. Now, for the shortcut, we go up the ladder here. The frame rate here may actually be an issue against me being able to do this, but we live and learn. We'll take our crossbow bolts. Oh no, it's throwing knives. Excuse me. Now, if I look down here, you'll see a small ledge jutting out slightly from just under the bridge. We need to get on to that. That's not going to do it. This is one of the most wonderful things about Dark Souls, is how organic the game world is. If you see something in the distance, you know, there's a good chance you may well be going to that later on. Or, in the case of here, you may be able to glitch yourself onto it. I did tap roll there. Slight input delay, perhaps. Right, this is the one. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm normally fairly good at this. Hmm. I'm telling you, if this was a PS3 version, I'd be, I'd be halfway to Capra Demon by now. That's more like it. Now from here, we will of course heal because this is a fair drop. We need to get just to the right of the screen. There's buildings. Hmm. I wonder if we can get to where those are. Answer. Yes, we can. Now we need to heal up quickly because we'll have a dog on us from this end. Now, 
I'm going to attempt a suicide run here. The fact I have good poise should stand me instead here. We go for these stairs. This is actually backwards through the undead burg, but you'll see why we're doing it in a moment. We open a gate. We do not like the fact there are ninjas on us here. Luckily it's only one. They don't do a lot of damage on their own. They can however parry and repost you. Oh, hello there. What would you like? Some of that? I thought so. Now, oh, all of the ninjas have actually made it up here, so that could potentially make it a little easier for me. Okay. You may recognize this room. However, if we go across this bridge, you will most certainly recognize this area from the last time we played. Actually, it'll be from episode one. Weren't we just here a minute ago? Why, yes. Yes, we were. This is where the shortcut takes you out. Of course, there's a bonfire in there, but we've killed a lot of the ninjas, so... I don't think we'll bother with that. A little bit of stupid fire damage there won't help. Okay, so welcome to the lower undead burg. First things first. With the residence key we bought. Oh, what's this? Oh my. I've never seen fire bombs make it down here before. We didn't buy the resident key. Well, that's not a problem. I can't actually visualize where those fire bombs are coming from. Well done, game. You've surprised me. I didn't think that was very possible. There's a dead body. <laughs> I was in full defensive mode because I saw something. See, the fire bombs are coming from there. I suppose that's actually the area we're in is only just down this side. Well. Wow. Okay. We'll parry these guys. You can backstab them as well quite easily. They're not too... Oh, come on. Attack me. 1v1 me, scrub. Fine. I'll just chip away at your health through your shield. Right, we go back down here. And in this area, we have the undead merchant. My days are not numbered, good sir. I take offence to that. I will have your residence key, however. I don't think I need anything else from you. We're doing quite well in terms of equipment. Yes, I just I did just buy twenty five fire bombs, and it's because I made a last second decision to attempt to show you a small, I won't say a glitch because it's not a glitch, but it's it's certainly a, it's a very cheesy way of defeating the Capra Demon. I'm going to kindle this bonfire. You'll notice my humanity in the top left going down by one. However, you'll notice my Nestus flasks have now gone to ten. 
Kindling is a two-step process. You can kindle to ten initially on any bonfire, and then when you obtain an item from the catacombs called the Rite of Kindling, you can then kindle any bonfire in the game up to twenty. Which is certainly useful for some of the later game bosses, which, if you're not properly geared, can be quite... Well... They can be dicks. None of that, thank you. Now we'll drop down here again. I always feel like you can miss that drop and go too far. It will probably be fatal if you do. Our dogs and ninjas will of course be respawned, however, we can deal with the dogs by hiding behind a fire. <laughs> At which point the dogs of course say, 1v1 me scrub, and I say, well, no. Because I am a pussy. Now we can finally open this door. And we can say hello to Griggs of Vinheim. You're very welcome, Griggs. I wonder if I can... That may help. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Fire Lake Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Well, aren't you vague? We will roll into this body and obtain the sorcerer set. Along with the catalyst, which, you know... We don't have any spells for it yet, but we also don't have enough intelligence to wield it. So, you know, maybe not the best idea to equip that just yet. But we will be in the future, and we will be using some spells. Now, this may not look like much. It's one of the more dangerous areas in the game, because the fire wielding hollows can do a lot of damage to you if you let them. Your best way to kill these guys is just block and hit. Simple as that. There's not much down here. So, you know, you never have to go down here if you, if you feel your skills aren't up to it. But we do get a Twin Humanities. Could prove useful. May not. But if we do need some healing in a pinch, or we require a couple of Humanities at some point, then perfect. Have to take out the third dog. Now, our ninjas will have respawned. And you see the first one in there. The second one will also have aggroed on us, probably. Yes, they have. Ah, this is the third one, actually. The good news is, we have enough poise so that we can just tank through their attacks. And if we leaping R2 attack them, they can't actually parry us. Quick heal, for there's more of the same down this end. This is a very small area, but it is quite difficult if you're not expecting it. They can also backstab you, so I won't be staying in that area too long. Okay, one more dog to kill. I believe this is a... Soul of the Lost Undead. Yep. And we'll 
we'll take this to set while we're here. Oh, hello, doggy. Hi, doggy. Bye. Now, there is a boss in here. We can't directly shoot through the fog gate, for that would be cheating. However, what we can do... We already have a few black fire bombs. And we're pretty much in the right position, maybe a little bit forward. We aim for the third or fourth buttress up here. And we can just throw fire bombs. At the boss, over its wall. Is this perhaps the cheapest boss strategy in any game ever? <laughs> oh, I missed with the black one. I'll throw a couple more, just... There we are. It's very... It's very cheap. But it's very cheerful. You do step forward a little bit each time, so you won't always hit. I'm not saying that. I'll throw a couple more. And we'll say hello to the Capra Demon. And if we're not careful, we'll say goodbye to our lives. Yes, we will. <laughs> After all of that. <laughs> I was very worried about the dogs. Well, that was... That was most unfortunate, and I think I'll now do a little montage of me getting back to that area. Okay, so, we're back in the realms of the Capra Demon, and we're going to take revenge. This is more like it. That's the correct dodge. Oh, hello dog. Wait for him to fall, and then we plunge attack him to death. It's essentially the shortened version of that fight, but... Okay. So we'll head downstairs. We'll crush these two. Oh, screw you. We will be taking those stairs in a moment. We'll also be opening that door in a moment. But first, we've got a few souls to collect. We'll open this door, we won't go down here yet, for there is a shortcut. And it's definitely a shortcut worth taking, because the depths, if you're not paying attention, the depths can take you. It's almost a bad pun, in a way, but... This is also the only way to get to this merchant. 
all we will be buying from her. Mm. Yeah, all we will be buying from her is around about 25 or so poison arrows. And we'll run through the little sewer area. This may look a little familiar again. And you'll see in a moment why it should. This gate was unopenable from the other side. And that is the way to the Undead Burg. One more rat to kill. One more chance at humanity. We'll also um, wall hack this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We'll just try and shoot past these guys as quickly as possible. We'll say hi to Griggs. And hopefully we can stop at this bonfire. Nope. We may need to take out perhaps just one. I think it looks like it will just be the one. Yeah, the bonfire is back to being active. So I'm going to leave this episode of Dark Souls here. Our almost cosplay Solaire's looking quite, well, quite harrowed. He's been through a couple of experiences. He's lost his human status, which we will quickly resolve for him. We'll turn him black, back into his nice blue self. So until the next episode of Dark Souls, it's going to be goodbye from Solaire and goodbye from me. Thank you for watching.